In this video, we're going to update a technique that we did way back in January of 2009, and that is importing an audio CD into iTunes. Now, admittedly, folks might not be doing this a whole lot. You might not be even buying CDs anymore, but if you've got them and you want to put them on an MP3 player or put them on your computer to listen to or even to edit with, you need to get your CD onto your computer in the form of all those files, those music files. So we're going to update importing and converting audio into iTunes. So let me minimize our web browser. And we're going to start with iTunes. And we're using iTunes 12. It hasn't been... Uh, improved in any significant ways. In some ways it can be kind of frustrating to work with, but it does do the basic task of importing your audio into your computer. So before we actually insert the CD, I want to show you a preference area that we need to go in and check just to kind of figure out how we want to import our music. So I'm going to go to the iTunes menu and choose preferences. And in the general tab, we're going to see a section down here that says when a CD is inserted. It is going to ask us to import the CD or we can do these other things, but I generally like to have it ask. That's fine. The import settings are going to be important for how we're going to use our music. So if I click on import settings, I'll show you the different choices. AAC encoder is basically iTunes music. If you bought a music uh, tune on iTunes, you would get it in the AAC format. It'd be a stereo file, be very high quality, 256 kilobits per second, um, a stereo file. Um, so that's, that's the traditional way that you would buy iTunes music. Now, you can also choose things like MP3s, which is what that old uh, version of this video did we, that we did back in 2009. We used MP3s as the encoder. Um, you can also encode these as WAV or AIFF files, and those will be essentially an exact copy from the audio CD. You will lose no data. It will sound exactly like it sounds on the CD. So you're doing a basically what we call an uncompressed version of those, and that's AIFF and WAV. MP3, AAC, um, are what we call lossy compression, and then there's Apple lossless, which is kind of an intermediary between AAC and AIFF. Okay, so what we want to do is, is choose the encoder, and we'll leave that up to you. I'm going to leave this on AAC, and we can use the iTunes Plus setting. That's a, that's a good basic place to start. You can go in, you can check any of these if you want to make those, those types of changes. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is open up our CD drive, and we are going to place the CD on the tray. We will close the drive. I'll click OK and OK on these two dialog boxes and shortly we should see the basic question that the uh, that the program is going to ask us. It'll recognize that a CD has been inserted into the computer and it's going to ask us what we want to do. So would you like to import the CD? In this case we're doing Tchaikovsky's Nutcracker. Um, do we want to import this into the iTunes library? And it's just a simple matter of saying yes, and it will go through and, and start the process. So basically this will take, depending on which encoder setting you have chosen, um, it'll be very quick if you do AAFF or WAV. It'll take a little bit longer for each file if you choose AAC or MP3. So we're going to let this do its thing, and we're going to, through the magic of, of time compression, we'll get back to you as soon as we're done with the import process. Okay, we're importing our final track, and it's finishing up its importing. And now if we go to our music section, we should see our music is imported. Now what it doesn't have is the album art for this particular track or this particular album, this particular CD. We'll attempt to get the album artwork. Sometimes this will work, sometimes it won't. Um, we'll see if we can't get something that is appropriate for this. 
and in this case we strike out. But if we click on this, we will see all the songs that were imported, and they will all be in the AAC format. If I needed to find a particular file on my hard drive, I could right-click on this and say, Show in Finder, and that will go and show us, in this case, all of the files that have been imported. And you'll notice this M4A extension on the end of each one of these files. That is the iTunes format, the AAC format, uh, that Apple creates and these are all very very high quality files that you can play on your iPod or iPhone or iPad or computer or whatever device will play the iTunes format music. So that is the basic instructions to import your music into iTunes.